Hey, what's going on guys? It's your girl B with 10 100 media today. I am here to do a tutorial on Instagram templates templates. Um, so for your IG story or your IG feed, I'm going to go ahead and show you both today, which is pretty simple. Um, I've been doing it this way for a while. Um, I learned through, you know, tutorials just like this. So, um, hopefully I can show you guys this and then you can run off with it and do like your own designs. Um, so if you're new here, go ahead and like and subscribe um, and go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Let me know if this was a good tutorial or a bad one or how I can improve it. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe it's too long. Go ahead and tell me. Just let me know what's going on um, so I can go ahead and deliver what you guys need. So in order to do this, obviously, as you can see from my screen, it all happens in Photoshop. So we're going to go ahead and hit create new. We're going to open Photoshop, obviously. And then uh, hit create, hit create new. If I can talk, it's like 11 o'clock at night, you guys. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and title this um, tutorial. Just something simple, template, whatever. And um, the biggest thing you want to do is this going to be for IG story. So the biggest thing that you want to do is go ahead and um, change the width. So usually you want to go 1920 by 1080 um, for the um, normal cinematic way, I guess. Um, but in this case, we want to do it for our IG story. So we're going to hit 1080 by 1920. You can also manual, manually take uh, put these in, not 90, Brandy, 80. And um, yeah, go ahead and hit create. And then you have you have your IG template right there, ready to go. So um, now what we're gonna do is just we're gonna go ahead and pick some photos. Um, I actually already have my photos picked out. These are some photos from the last shoot that I did with um, an artist by the name of Joshua J. Um, really dope artist, really dope dude. And I was so happy that he allowed me to come over and experiment. Um, uh, with my new light, I just got my 120D light. I have the first one, not the Mark II, but the first one is just amazing me anyway. I'm glad I saved the money and just bought the first one, especially for my first Bowens light. So yeah, that's another tutorial. But anyway, so what I did here, what I usually do is I like to keep it clean. So usually I only pick like one photo and poke a hole in it, basically. Um, put some text over it and make it look nice. So I'm going to show you how I do it. Um, but there's a, 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 but there's actually a prethla of ways that you can choose from in order to um, get the look that you're looking for. So you can use brushes, you can blend two together. There's all kind of stuff that you can do. It's very fun once you know what you're doing. So usually um, I just choose one. So I'll just choose this one. Um, I like this photo. Um, it shows his LV Las Vegas representing and all that good stuff for him. So say this is a photo um, from the video. Maybe it was a performance scene. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll actually take actual photos of the artists um, in the scene. Um, maybe rapping, moving around. And um, that way it looks kind of like a screen grab a little bit, but just something that's relatable to the project. So anyways, um, in this case, so you would be able to make this smaller, you know, and add another photo if you wanted to. Um, if you wanted to do that, um, I'll put this on top. There you go. And, you know, you can blend those two photos in there together. That actually looks kind of dope. Um, so say, let's do it. So say that you wanted to, um, blend this photo with, with that one, right? So I will go up here, hit my eraser tool. Um, this object must be resaturized before proceeding, blah, blah, blah. Resaturize the smart object. You want to hit okay. So then you can just simply start erasing and see how those kind of lines go away. And you can kind of blend it in and make it look like he's supposed to be there. All that good stuff. I'm really doing a half job here. This obviously wouldn't be a final for me, but um, yeah, that's just an option that you can do. Um, I would probably come up here and, you know, make us make my square wherever my video is going to go. So maybe, you know, I don't know. I want it up here somewhere, somewhere like that. Boom. So um, and that's my marquee rectangular marquee tool so you want to choose that and then go ahead and draw your square wherever you wanted to go where you want the video to go 
you know, you can also move it before you finalize it. So if you wanted it just down here, that's fine. Up here, you know, wherever you want to go, whatever's your flavor. And so I'm just going to keep mine here. And I am going to um, poke a hole. So usually you can hit delete there. But um, what I what you have to do is go ahead and right click, hit resaturize layer, boom, and then hit the delete. And that'll give you the hole for your um, for your video if that's how you wanted to roll, right? So um, that's where my video is going. I'd simply go ahead and hit this eye on the background so I get the little checkers, right? And then I will come over here, um, put a little text down. Um, say that's the font that I wanted. You know, you go and choose your font, what size you want it, all that good stuff. And I'll usually put like Instagram information on there where they can find the video, YouTube, stuff like that. Um, that's really where this would go. So I'm just going to do, um, Joshua J and we're just going to put that there. You know, that's his title or maybe it goes up here. Yeah, let's put it right there. And then we want to go, probably want that font a little bit better, uh, not that big, 16, I don't want to take away his face, Joshua Day, or J, excuse me, and let's say, um, you know, his song is called Get Money, you know, Get Money, or actually, he's not that guy, so I would probably say, like, Stay Humble, would be a good dope title of a song. Um, and that's his, you know, that's his, the title of the song. I mean, you could put this stuff anywhere you want, whatever floats your boat, right? Whatever looks right to you, if you want to put it up there. So maybe I would do something like this and then put it right here. And, you know, that's that. And then I would obviously like put my logo or, you know, you can come down here, you know, directed by you know uh, 10 100 mm -mm. 10 100 no 10 100 media right say that's how I do it all right boom I totally probably would not do it like this but you guys understand what I'm saying so it's literally just your preference i would probably not do that probably take another one and write 10 100 media <sighs> usually i don't spell it all the way out but you guys oh gosh how about directed by yes but you guys understand what i'm saying um again with espn um, so you guys understand what I'm saying. So you would go ahead and, and do that. I would probably add like a subscribe button or something like that up there. I know I got some around here. See, I got the like the Instagram logo and then like a subscribe button. And, you know, like I said, you can lower that. Um, you know, subscribe. You know, maybe I'll put like a, you know, watch now. And again, you can do different fonts, stuff like that. Play with it. See what you like and go with that. So you can hit that watch now. Boom. Um, and then, you know, if, if they have, you know, on Instagram, if you got 10,000 subscribers or more, you can go ahead and put that arrow down there and all that good stuff. So this is, you know, it's fairly something that I might do um, for the sake of time. I don't want to, you know, get too much into it. But, you know, this is something that, you know, I might do. I don't know. I don't think I would do it exactly like this. Obviously, I would take a little bit more time. But, you know, you guys get the point. So um, then you want to go up here. This is really important. Very, very important. Um, so you'll be able to put your video right here. So you want to be able to save it, right? So you want to go to save as, and you know, you're going to name it, whatever you're going to name it. You're going to save it wherever you're going to save it, right? I'm just going to do the desktop for the sake of the tutorial, but I would highly recommend having an external hard drive to save it to, especially if you don't have a lot of 
room on your computer. I'm just saying. And you want to save this format right here. See where it says Photoshop? You actually want to save it as a PNG. Save it as a PNG. Otherwise, you won't get the get the blank part right there. And that's not what you want. So go ahead and hit save. Hit OK. And um, we're going to go ahead and open up Premiere. OK, file new project. And then we're going to say tutorial IG story template. Boom. Save it um, wherever it's supposed to be saved. Hit OK. And now we have our our new um, project up. So now I'm going to take this tutorial that I have right here. I'm going to go ahead and find my, my PNG and go ahead and drop it in there. And then we're just going to drop like a random video. It's not, it's going to have nothing to do, completely nothing to do with rap music, but it's literally for the example. So you guys understand what I'm saying. So, um, you will go ahead and, and put that in there and I'm just going to use this one. It's a food video that I did a while back and I am going to go in and place that video in here. Bam. So there it is. And it is not going. Mm. Okay. There it is. Okay. That is completely not edited or anything, but it's okay. We're going to rock with it, right? So um, first thing we're going to do is go ahead and change the sequence settings. So we want to change that, right, to the same thing that we did in per, uh, in Photoshop. So we want to go 1080, mm -mm, not 16, whatever that is, 1080 by 1920, right, and hit OK. And then it's going to ask you, this operation cannot be undone, blase, blase, just go ahead and hit OK. And now we have our video, we have our frame, and now we have our video in there. And then we're going to go ahead and drop the photo on top. So you see how that video is within there. And you just want to stretch it for the length of the video. Boom. So now you got this, right? So you got a video in here. You got a video in here, but it doesn't quite fit. So what we're going to do is we're going to use scale and we're going to scale it down. Bam. To make it fit that now it, it looks a little like crooked or sideways right so you want to just change the position do whatever you have to do oh my goodness okay okay so you know you want to take it and position it to where you want it to go right and go up and usually what i do is i scale it like really small get it right in the middle where i need it and then or i'm sorry i position it i scale it really small and then i'll position it in the middle the best I can I just kind of eye it and then I just scale it up until it hits you know the uh, thing and I make my little adjustments there see bam and maybe this can go down just a little bit uh, so touchy okay and boom my video is like in there It's like a little cooking video that I did. So now you have that. So now that's there. You got it all set how you want it. Um, nothing is lacking. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, nothing is lacking. So, and depending on how you design your um, template, it's not always going to be perfect the way it fits. Some people like to, you know, cut it across here. So it's not going to catch all of your video, but I'm a big fan of it having all my video in there. I didn't work that hard for people to only see a quarter of my video. So that's why I make my square right there. I kind of keep it simple, make my square and I'm able to go ahead and, um, you know, do what I need to do with it. So now we're all done with that. We're going to go ahead and hit command M and we're going to go ahead and export it out. So it's all done. I mean, we can pick apart, you know, um, what we find the most appealing and I kind of do that. You can rename it here so you can, I'm going to just name this for the sake of the tutorial of the tutorial is to tutorial template or tutorial IG story. I G geez. 
IG story. And then you will go ahead and hit save. And then you will come in and do whatever, you know, your match bid rate is. Um, all that, our match source, excuse me, is I already have a preset. Um, I'll probably do a tutorial on how I export my videos and stuff like that to get the maximum quality. But for now, I'm just going to use my um, my template and, you know, keep it simple. It For the sake of the drill, you guys can go ahead and just use... Um, match source it's it'll do the same pretty much the same thing so um you know uh after that use maximum render quality use previews and hit export so i'm going to go ahead and export that that's going directly to my external hard drive so um yeah we'll wait on that So it's going to be the same thing, right, for making a IG story feed. I'm a big fan of um, of portrait size, so I usually use the dimension. So it's the same thing, using the dimensions of 1080 by 1350, boom. And then you hit create new, and that's going to be your IG um, story. Or, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, your IG um, portrait mode and like i said i'll have the dimensions um mentioned down below so you know exactly what to put in there but it's just the width and all that good stuff and like i said i can use another like for me i i'm really really simple you guys like i don't i don't complicate it too much because i like it to look neat but you know this is also another photo of joshua J. I i will go ahead and put that in there throw my text in there um throw all my calls to action as far as you know subscribe buttons um all that kind of stuff where to find the youtube how to get there link in bio all that stuff i will put that there so like you know link in bio um make that small lure and i would probably you know put that there and i would probably grab again my um my subscribe button thingy yes i called it a subscribe button thingy i did and you know bring it on down pick a corner bring it on down and you know subscribe put that there and then you know all the names all that good stuff and you can design it however you want really helps when you download different fonts so you have different options when it comes to this um again uh the biggest the biggest thing you want to remember with this is save as save as png and then go ahead and throw it in your Premiere Pro and it's the same thing in Premiere Pro you will go ahead and make the sequence size or the sequence settings um, 1080 by 1350 so this would be the 1350 here boom again it's gonna do that and now we have that okay well that's not what I designed but that's kind of how it's <laughs> how it's working out so um yeah that's pretty much it if you guys have any questions definitely um go ahead and comment below with your questions i'm more than happy to answer them um let me know what you guys thought about this tutorial i didn't want it to be too long or too in depth um but you guys definitely get the idea of, of where i'm coming from um if you're pretty advanced in photoshop you probably um get this a little bit better than those that are beginning um I'll, I'll more than likely do a part two to this that's way more detailed um maybe like a 35 minute 40 minutes just to kind of get um, my beginners well versed in it but this should be a pretty good start for you hopefully you guys enjoyed it um, once again don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel um, it's going to be a lot of tutorials videos vlogs all those kind of things that are going to um, be coming out of this channel so um, again i appreciate you guys watching like i said any questions leave them down below i'm more than happy to answer them you guys have a good one and i'll see you in the next video